Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is a channel about investing, money tips, and lifestyle tips. So if that's something you're interested in, please hit the subscribe button and enjoy the video. Thank you. So today will be a shorter video. We'll be looking at different stock types. There's three that I've chosen, and I think they're like a key part to starting a portfolio, or at least the knowledge of them is a key part to starting a portfolio. And we're gonna look at the potential risks to them and the potential gains that you could get from each one. Okay, so let's get into it. First up is the common stock, and this is basically just any stock that's on the platform that you're using. And obviously I'm using Trading 2 on 2, um, which is the platform, and you can just scroll through it and you'll see lots and lots of different stocks. And that's basically a stock. You can see that the, the high volatility in them, the low volatility in them. So for example, you've got Tesla, jump up, they go down, up, down, up, down, that's a high volatile stock. And then the low volatile stock will be something like Royal Dutch Shell, which kind of steadily goes up over time. Um, so obviously that comes into the kind of type of portfolio that you want to do and the type of strategy that you want to look into. And they can vary from obviously your favorite. You can go into your favorite stock. So for example, like Apple, and that people use every day, Coke you can use as well. And obviously just random oil companies will be on the other side of the stocks that you don't know. Um, obviously I don't rec recommend those unless you've done your due diligence and actually researched them to a point where you think that they will be profitable in the future. But yeah, that's basically just the overlay of common stocks. So next up is the ETF, which stands for Exchange Traded Fund. Um, and this is basically a collection of companies. Uh, so if we look at the S&P 500 just here, uh, that is a collection of 500 companies that are doing um, obviously fairly well. And if the fund doesn't do well, it drops out and then another one comes in. For example, Tesla has just been added to the S&P 500, as I'm sure you're probably aware if you're into investing at all. With the S&P 500, the last 50 years has shown that they've gone from seven to 10% per year as they've gone up. So obviously if you take that into account over the next 20, 25 years, then that's quite a big gain if you're just putting in, say one solid amount, but obviously if you keep adding to it over time, then it will kind of slowly pop up and then you have a nice kind of retirement fund. ETFs are not personally my game because I'm more of a high growth, high growth portfolio, but ETFs are a great way to kind of put money in, leave it, you know, if you're working, you've got you know, a heavy job, then obviously you can just leave it and check up it on kind of once a month or so. And then that's a great way to kind of make money on the side. And in 20 years time, yeah, you can take it out and have some fun. <laughs> um, also another way to do it is if you've got like a kid, you can put like a hundred pound in, 150 pound in, and maybe top it up every month if you really want to. But essentially you could just leave that money in there and it'll grow up and then say, when they get to 18, you can give them the choice, sit them down, give them the choice to kind of take it or grow on it, you know, educate them in this kind of field of investing. Uh, get them to watch my videos actually, that would be a good idea. Um, yeah, so that's another way you could do it. Okay, so next up is dividend stocks. And these are basically stocks that pay you a dividend on their specific pay dates. So we'll dive a bit more into that now. Uh, dividend is basically a payment that the company makes to you on a specific date and it can be quarterly, it can be six monthly, and it can also be monthly depending on which stock you obviously choose. To find these you can go on websites such as Yahoo Finance which I've taken a screenshot here and also Trading212 which I've also taken a screenshot here. You have to scroll down a bit on Trading212 to find it. Um, obviously not every stock pays a dividend. Um, in my experience I see it as a stock that has um, not no innovativity, which is a good word, um, but they kind of slow down the innovation. For example, let's have a look at Coca-Cola. They have a product called Coke, obviously, but they can't really expand on that because that is their product. So what they do is they give a bit back to their shareholders, basically just to reward them for and saying thank you for investing in us, that kind of thing. And there's loads on the market. Um, I'm sure you can have a little look. So that's dividend stocks in a nutshell, really. So when you're doing your research on a dividend stock, you want to be looking for how long they've been paying that dividend for. So for example, I think Caterpillar have been paying for 20 plus years, and that's a good sign of a continuous payment throughout the next few years as well, and obviously longer term. Um, Caterpillar, if you don't know, is like a building company. I'm sure you've seen their uh, like kind of trucks everywhere on building sites. They've been around for years, and they like to pay a dividend, and I'm interested in posting some shares in them myself when I build my dividend portfolio. So there's a little bit of insight of there about what what to pick. So you're probably going to ask me next, how do I find the pay dates and when do I get my money? Which is exactly what I thought when I first thought about, oh, a dividend is a good idea. Dividend is a good idea, um, just so you know. And I will be starting a dividend portfolio up next, mm, probably next month, next year. And I'll do a video on that, probably explaining kind of what I'm going to choose, why I'm going to choose it, 
etc etc so yes how to find your payday there's a website called Dividend Max, which I've just put up here on the screen. They are very good at finding the pay date. Um, also things to look out for is the declaration date and the X date, which I can't remember what that stands for right now. Uh, the declaration date is basically when they declare the pay date and then they declare the X date, which is the date which you have to get in by. So you need to you know, purchase shares before that date in order to get to the pay date and get your dividend payment. And um, I hope that's understandable. I feel like I did it in a fairly good manner. Um, and that is dividend stocks. So I hope this video has helped you understand the basic stock types and kind of reinforcing your decision on what you kind of want to invest in and how you want to invest and create your portfolio around that. And obviously there is different types of stock within the stock market but I've gone for the basic ones in this video because it just makes more sense. It gives you a base to start on before you start your portfolio. Uh, so just to recap, we've got the common stock, ETF and dividend stock. Uh, yes, so thank you very much for watching. Don't forget you can get yourself a free share if you click the link below for trading 212. You get a free share worth up to £100 after depositing just £1 and I get one too, which would be wonderful, especially this time of year, Christmas. Um, yes, and speaking of Christmas, Merry Christmas, take care of yourself and stay safe. Thank you. Now understand, understand, understand. Cut that last bit off.